I'm particularly interested in civil engineering and construction. Um, I think it's going to be a, a major uh, part of rebuilding America's infrastructure here over the next uh, 15 to 20 years. It's more face to face with the instructor so you don't, you don't feel like you're drowned out by 100 other students. I always want to know the ins and outs of any particular piece of electronics, why it does what it does and how to make it do something different. You get to do hands-on but also understand the theory behind it. I'm George Cox. I'm the program coordinator for civil engineering technology. My name is Ken Swain and I'm an associate professor in electrical engineering technology. My name is Pat Riddle. I'm the program coordinator for mechanical manufacturing and industrial maintenance technologies. Everything that humankind makes that our world exists in that's not a natural fiber or a natural product, mechanical engineers or industrial engineers touch it somewhere along the way. And it's not made unless we do something with it first. We build the machines that make the machines that make the part. What attracted me to engineering uh, initially uh, had to do with analysis, problem solving, design. Uh, if you have a, a background uh, to where you have an interest in taking things apart, putting them back together, uh, if you have an interest in uh, solving problems, engineering is a great profession and that's the, that's the type of things that attracted me to engineering. Mississippi State is a very forward-thinking community college. It is uh, very technically oriented. We have just about every tool which is up to date. The engineering technology program contains three disciplines. First is civil engineering technology, which is my specialty, mechanical engineering technology, and electrical engineering technology. Civil engineers uh, do a lot of things. Uh, we build buildings, we build roads and airfields, and other public works projects, as well as residential construction, which is a, a minor form of civil engineering. I chose to come to Pell City State to sort of get a degree quickly. I, I looked into the two-year degree program that they have here, and um, I think it's the best program for someone that uh, already is out in the workforce or currently has a job and uh, is looking to really move up quickly. I'm particularly interested in civil engineering and construction. Um, I think it's going to be a, a major uh, part of rebuilding America's infrastructure here over the next uh, 15 to 20 years, uh, rebuilding interstates, possibly railways, and uh, I think it's going to be a really growing program here for our country. We play an integral part in uh, the work in society. If you take a look at uh, uh, anything in your home, it pretty well runs off electricity uh, from your digital alarm clock, coffee maker, just so many things within society uh, hinges on uh, the work that an electrical engineer does. The electrical engineering technology program here at Pellissippi State is designed for electrical technicians. Basically, it's a two-year degree. A student receives an Associate of Applied Science degree. And uh, with that degree, they can go ahead and start working in a career. And uh, if they want to go back to school later and finish a four-year degree, they're able to do that. Uh, if you like to work with robotics, if you like to ro work with automation systems, uh, that, of course, that's where we're at today in the, in, uh, you know, the 2000s. Uh, if, you, if you just like to work with electrical systems in general. I always had a, something I was tinkering with electronic, and I wanted to turn that into a career and gain some more knowledge. Right now I'm really enjoying our PLC class, uh, Programmable Logic Controllers. It's uh, really interesting to be able to make a computer talk to the real world and actually see a computer perform physical activities with what you've programmed and what you've told it to do. In the engineering technology specifically, like I said, down in my area we have mechanical design, we have manufacturing, and we have industrial maintenance. And I usually tell people anything you can dream of from cradle to grave. We're able to design it, manufacture it, inspect it, and use it for some purpose. I particularly like the classes that um, you get to kind of encompass all of the sciences and math that you've been going through and, and, and apply them practically like, like a strength of materials class. You get to use your uh, statics and your trig and your calculus. And then you also get to use your physics, you know, all into one class. Uh, that's more practical. You see why this is important or why it's needed, and that's really neat. You know. We have uh, employers coming back to us and telling us, "Hey, we really like this graduate. Uh, you know, do you have any others that uh, you'd like to provide to us?" And uh, we'll shoot them some resumes or 
uh, try to get the person hooked up with them. But uh, yeah, we have a very good reputation and our students do fine work and, uh, in the community. I chose to go to Pellissippi State because I didn't want to sacrifice my church activities or my family activities and I also had to work so Pellissippi State was close. I chose to go to Pellissippi State because uh, in my job position I was told that I'd hit a glass ceiling and I was making all the money I was going to make without a degree and uh, when I started doing my research for schools Pellissippi was uh, nicely located and it had the exact program I needed, civil engineering technology. The best part of my job is the sense of accomplishment once I complete a, complete a project and just the wide variety of projects that I have to work on. Anyone thinking it's too late, it's not too late. Uh, I didn't begin going to night classes at Pellissippi State until I was almost 50 years old and it did break the glass ceiling and my salary has reflected my associate's degree now. My advice is once you start taking classes, keep every single one of your tests. When you get done with the test, write down how you did the problem because you're going to need to go back to it later. You will have it somewhere else because every class is built on the last class. The advice I would give to them would be to be persistent and just because you may have a few setbacks, you're, you know, you're still, if you're persistent and you keep going, you'll make it. Everything now is technically oriented. Everything requires algebra, trigonometry, and geometry. And the better you are in those subjects, the easier the courses will be. Math is important. Math and science, really. I mean, if you're, if you're trying to prepare your way to Pellissippi State and you're interested in engineering or engineering technology, what would be uh, the best way to prepare yourself is make sure your math and science skills are up to speed. Stay in school, get as many math courses under your belt as you can, and you will most likely be successful in engineering and engineering technology. As far as like any other advice I'd give is just <laughs> don't get discouraged. Uh, because it's going to, you know, just begin with the end in mind, I guess, as, as the old timers would say, but it's, uh, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I'm already starting to see some of the benefits of education, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. So.